Alright guys, welcome back. Uh, once again we're going to be doing some more Lewis dot structures uh, using an EN chart. We'll go over molecular and orbital geometry as well as hybridization and axe notation. Remember that you're going to need two handouts uh, in order to do these problems. You're going to need a periodic table. What you see here, you can download one from my website and you will also need handout 6A which is available on my website uh, it's in unit 3 just look down through there and you'll you'll find it as well but it has everything labeled uh, out it's got your orbital geometries, molecular geometries, hybridizations and everything anyway just make sure you have these before you get started so go ahead and get those now let's go ahead and get started alright this is the one that we're going to be doing tonight we're going to be doing an ion and this ion is negative so this anion uh, has selenium and four uh, chlorines now what we're going to do is we're going to create the end chart so do what you've done before E A and N now after you get the uh, end chart written down you need to list the elements I see SE I see CL but you got four of them so this one is larger than the ones we've done in the past because it's got so many things in it now one of the other things that you need to do is on the very last one down here you need to write the word charge now notice that this charge is a negative two Okay, down here you're going to always do the opposite, so make this plus 2. Now this would be an X because it's not, it doesn't need anything, it's a charge. Anyway, we need to locate selenium and chlorine on the periodic table. If you'll look at the periodic table, you will notice that selenium itself, SE, is in column 16. Since it's in column 16, that is six valence electrons. So we're going to record a six here. Chlorine, if you look on the periodic table, you'll see that it's in column 17, so that's seven valence electrons. Now, they all need eight, because it's not uh, one of the first five elements. Now, remember, that's only true for the end chart. After that, we need to get our totals. Uh, our total for A, well, let's see, one, two, three, four, four times seven is 28, and then 28 and two is 30, and 6, that's 36. N totals up to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's 40. Now when we subtract these, 40 minus 36 is 4. Now, how many bonds is that? The number of bonds is 2. Hmm. Well, don't worry about that. Just keep doing the calculations. NBEs, well, A minus S is what? 32. So this is what we have calculated. Now when we get ready to draw this you'll see that our central atom is selenium, SE. And we got four things so I'm just going to fit them around. CL, 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 CL. Now to get things attached I need a minimum of four bonds. Now there's a problem. I calculated that I had two bonds. So I've created two more than what I was supposed to, at least according to this math. Now that's okay. If you ever come up short on bonds, you may only borrow up to the amount that you need to attach substituents. That's things around the central atom. Meaning we could never exceed four bonds since we came up short in our calculations. So we would go from two to three by borrowing two electrons to get 30, but that's three is still not enough. So to get four bonds that we need, we need to borrow two more electrons, therefore our NBE count would then be 28. Now this is the correct amount that we have, four bonds and 28 non-bonding electrons. Now if you look here, uh, we need to go ahead and give this an octet. Notice that this chlorine that you see here only has two because of the bond. So it needs two more electrons. One, two, and that gives it four. Two more gives it six, and two more gives it eight. 
So there's the octet, 2, 4, 6, 8. And that's true for all these chlorines. They need six more dots to give them octets. Now, you think everything's hunky-dory because everything's got an octet, even SE. But if you count 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, you still have four more dots to put. Now, the only uh, atom that's allowed to violate the octet rule is the central atom. So what we need to do is we need to put these four extra dots on the central atom. So I'm going to squeeze them in at an angle, just like I would these. I'll put them in, in pairs. There's those two, so i got two more to put. And I'm just going to put them straight across from each other, like this. Now, after that, you're done placing your dots. You've used your four bonds. You've used your 28 dots. But since it's an ion, don't forget to put... A, put it in a set of huge brackets, then outside write your 2 minus, or if your professor allows you to, write your negative 2 out there. Now remember, we need to go ahead and find the uh, geometry of this. Notice that you have 1, 2, 3, 4 bonds, and you have 2 lone pairs on the central atom. So our molecular geometry number that we need to look for is a 4, 2. So let's pull up handout 6A. If you'll uh, look at handout 6A, to find a 4-2, you have to go all the way down here. 4 twos right here. Notice that it's lightly gray. That tells you it's nonpolar. So we need to make a list of some things here. We know that our um, orbital geometry, we need to find it. Orbital geometry, I'll make a list. Orbital geometry, molecular geometry, um, hybridization. Uh, what's another one? Uh, polar, nonpolar. I'll just say polarity. Uh, and axe. Now, let's go ahead and try to get these filled in. Okay, I'll show you my piece of paper here in a second once I get my lines drawn so we can fill them in. Alright, um, here's my paper. I've got my lines drawn out. Let's find the orbital geometry for the 4-2. Once you find 4-2, notice that it's an octahedral for the orbital geometry. Okay, so we need to write that down. Octahedral. Uh, the orbital geometry is a square planar. Notice it is right here, square planar. So make sure you write down square planar, and I'll show you mine. And make sure you write it on yours as well. There, Just had to squeeze it in. There's square planar. Hybridization uh, is S, P1, P2, P3, D1, D2. S, P3, D2. Okay, so you can look at that, sp3d2, and uh, polarity. Notice it was a 4-2. It's lightly grayed, so it's nonpolar. So you write down nonpolar. Axe notation, uh, a, uh, oops, ax4e2. And you can find that as well on the sheet, ax4e2. Uh, now, guys, I hope this was helpful. Just watch the video over and over again. But the big thing here, remember, you may only borrow up to the amount of bonds you need to attach things. And if you ever have any ele extra uh, non-bonding electrons left over, put them in pairs around the central atom and you'll be okay. And just make sure you have handout 6A ready and available. All right, guys, just watch it over and over again. And uh, if you have any questions, just post your comments. And that should be all. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it helps.